Hey guys, we are going to be doing the pockets and inserts and uh, envelopes and things for the Medium a Keepsake mini album. Um, this is this is the Keepsake box that the, I think I'm going to put this album in it. I don't know. I might put this one. I haven't decided. So I'm doing these two ways. Uh, one where I'm printing it directly onto the pattern paper. And then the other where I'm using the large... Um, well, I guess any of the cutoff pieces from where you cut your 12 by 12 down to go through your printer. So I'm matting everything with those pieces, okay? So, oops, did I just give you a sneak peek? <laughs> so yesterday, I was, I already have everything printed out. So yesterday I was kind of doing some prep work and I was cutting everything out uh, for the album. Like, um, for example, I was cutting the, uh, inserts for the main base pages out and then I was cutting all of the pockets and different things that go in the album out and I kind of got a little carried away and started doing stuff in the album <laughs> and it would have been fine if I would have just done it in here I was like kind of experimenting what I want to do so but I actually started doing it in the album that I'm showing you guys how I'm doing everything in so that was a little bit of a boo-boo, so I kind of realized what I was doing and stopped myself. So this is what, <laughs> this was what I was up to. Um, I wanted to make the belly, one of the belly bands into like a strap type deal with a magnet. So, um, so, so, let's, I'll just talk you through what I did up until this point. Um, so this belly band is on page, uh, eight, and... I just took a strip of black cardstock. This is a Recollections black cardstock, and I measured it so that I could use this punch here, which is Floral Lace by Martha Stewart. I measured it so that you know I could punch on either side and then um, you know mat it with the belly band. So it ended up being a three-inch wide strip. Then I punched it on each side and then put the belly band. I don't even think it's securely down, right? So. <laughs> I already had this page put together, right? So what I ended up doing was taking my heat gun to it um, to separate the, or to, to soften up the um, score tape. Then I took this palette thingy. I think it was from a, it's from the Cricut, which I don't have, by the way, the Cricut machine. I don't even remember which machine it came from. Um, and then just kind of wiggled it, wiggled it, wiggled it until it loosened up right through there. So then I took the, uh, on the other side, there's another one of these little tabs and shoved it in between the two pages and then resealed it is what I did. So that's where we're at at this point. Okay, so let's see. Let me, let me back up a little bit. So page seven has the insert for the main base, which I've already cut these out because you just cut it out and then score it right down the middle here. I think I scored both of these, yes. So since this metallic -y paper is white on the back side, I printed it on the back side so that I could have a little bit of a something something on the back, which is the wood grain. And then um, there's also two loose tags here, which have also been printed out onto the back side of the paper. Um, so then what I did, because I didn't really want the stark white, let me show you, let me find a scrap here. So there's the stark white. That's what it looks like um, originally. So then I took, um, vintage photo distress ink and walnut stain distress ink and some tea dye distress ink and I just kind of went like this with my blending tool and since there's like a embossed effect on the back you know because this is embossed paper um, it kind of gives it this really cool texture so I thought it was better than the stark white I just think it looks a lot nicer so I wanted to tell you guys that, and so these inserts, my idea is that, let me fold this in half. Oh, and I did ink, then I went around the edges and I inked it with um, the black archival ink. So my thought is with the pocket window, I would slide this in here like this so that you could see the design. So maybe, and then I would have this on this side like that. So I thought maybe we could, um, when we do the embellishing, we could put some stickers or something on the insert itself. Um, I think it just looks really cute. Or maybe do some a little bit of embellishing on the outside corners here. Um, but anyway, so that's where these inserts are supposed to go. 
And I think, since I'm going to have a little bit of fancy going on here, I'm going to put this insert in the exact same way so that it shows on this side like that. Um, and the black ones, I've already put the black ones in there. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I did. So, um, I will link these templates below and any and all products that I use that I can find, I will also link in the description box below. So then the next page is page 8. And on page 8 is the long pocket. And I printed two, let's see, I printed two of page 7 um, for each album. So two on the um, printed cardstock and two on the black cardstock. Page 8, I printed two of each. So two on the printed paper and two on the black. So I'm going to go ahead and separate the black out real quick. Okay, so I've already completely cut and inked one set. Um, so there is a long pocket on here. There is the insert for the long pocket. And then there is the long belly band, which is this piece right here. So I didn't fully cut this one out already. Let me go ahead and do that. And it's real simple. Um, the way this one is made, you just notch those corners out. Just like that. And then when you trim this out, don't get too over bothered by staying exactly on the line. It's, um, it's just a really simple design on the edge there. And if you know, if you don't want this design on the edge, um, you can always just cut it straight across and use the other side of the, um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Like if you really want it just a straight edge, just cut it straight across like that. Well, you don't even have to use the other side. You can still use this side if you want, or you can flip it over and use the back side either way. So you've seen how quick it was for me to trim that out. So there's that one. And then here is the belly band. You know, you just notch the corners. If you want to keep those little tabs, you don't have to keep those little tabs. You can make it a tighter belly band. Um, and then you just score, which I'll show you in just a second. And then here is the insert for the long pocket. Same thing, same design. If you didn't want the design, you can just cut it straight across. If you wanted to change it up a little bit. Or if you wanted to use that uh, edge punch see it just that simple and I'm not real good at fussy cutting so it's that easy if you wanted to you could you know cut the straight across and then use the uh, border punch all the way down that could be fun just to change it up a little bit so then all you have to do for these pieces is this is a Martha Stewart mini scoreboard and you just need to score it here Fold it over, burnish it, and then um, ink all of the edges, inside and out, okay? So that one's simple. And then on the belly band, you just want to score that tab, flip it around, score that tab. Now, people ask me all the time, why don't I butt it up all the time? Because sometimes I don't cut it very straight or very even, and if you butt it up, and it's, and it's off, then your score is going to be off. So it's just easier for me to line up that line with the lines that I've put on my scoreboard versus um, trusting my cut. Does that make sense? So then you just, you know, when you go to use this, you just fold these tabs over. I'm, I'm running through this part pretty quick because it seems like I do this a lot, you know, where I um, show you how to cut things out and then score them. So... If it feels like I'm rushing, it's just I'm trying to get through it pretty quick so that my video isn't, you know, five hours long. Oops, I shifted it a little bit there. Okay, and so with this long pocket, same thing, just score it, fold it over, and burnish. Just like that. So I've got, um, we're going to, I'm going to show you, <laughs> I'm going to finish doing this part. Since this part was on page, um, what page was that? Eight? Was that page eight? 
let me find it just to double check because I didn't leave my sticky notes on here. Yeah, this is page eight. So um, the long belly band, the long pocket, and the insert for the long pocket are on page eight. So I'm going to set this belly band aside because I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. So like I said, what I did was I made that strip three inches wide, the black strip. And then on my black one, since it's going this way, um, I put a magnet and it's, it's opening like right to the side where on this one it's going to be opening to the top, okay? So I just trimmed it to a random length where it was right in the middle here of this pocket, which I'm getting ready to add. And then I put a magnet in between the black layer, I mean, I'm sorry, in between the metallic layer and the black um, belly band. I put a magnet in between there and then there's a magnet right here. So this is going to get matted, so um, I'm not worried about covering that up just yet. So for this one, I'm going to put a pocket and the pocket is on page. It's the short pocket, I'm pretty sure. It is on page nine. On page nine is the short pocket and an envelope and then the short belly band. So I'm just gonna grab the short pocket and then we'll come back to this page. So all I did was cut it out, score it, and actually I'm using the back sides. So I think it would just look better because um, it's got some like pinks and stuff. So I just inked it on both sides Just like that, and then I'm gonna take my score tape. This is a quarter of an inch Suquane score tape. I'm gonna put tape on all three sides. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm going to tack this long piece to the side pieces there, or I'm sorry, that bottom piece to the side piece. Just like that. And then I'm going to remove the backing. Oh, wait a minute. I can't attach it yet. Stop. <laughs> See, I got myself flustered because I don't know what I was doing yesterday. I was just like, oh, let's do this. First thing I need to do is figure out a length. So since it's already attached, which I obviously was not thinking the whole time I was doing this, once I figured out, I was like, oh, Jen, stop, stop. <laughs> it just happens. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. You just kind of get, get in the groove, you know, and forget what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paper trimmer out and I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to cut this. I'm going to shorten it down because on this one I did, let's see, it should be a six inch long strip and I shortened it down to a five inch long. So let's just do the same thing. So how am I going to figure that out, right? Let's see. So I've got my big precision heavy duty paper trimmer out here. How am I going to figure this? I'm just going to have to guess. So I'm just going to lay this in here and trim it off. Hope for the best. Oh goodness. Oh, I did not. That did not work. Yes, it did. I cut it to six. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Okay, now let's try this again. I'll try to line the black piece up with the five. We'll see. Maybe this one over here with the one. Oh, let's just hope. Let's hope. I feel like it's crooked. Oh, did you see it move? Okay. Alrighty. Do as I say, not as I do, right? Um, yeah, there we go. That's, that's better. All right, let me move this. Okay, so now I'm gonna ink that cut edge that I have here real quick. And then, I haven't attached this fully, thank goodness. Okay, that's good. I'm going to add my magnet to the back of this pocket. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. These are basic gray magnets. 
If I can find them, I'll link them below. They're just really strong little tiny magnets. I'm going to attach one of them to the inside of this pocket. I'm going to go here in the middle, I think. Well, come on. Technical difficulties I'm having today. <laughs> Before I attach the pocket down, I'm just going to add a regular piece of just a scotch tape just to help whatever I stick in there to not get stuck on the magnet, if that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to attach the pocket just like this. And I'm going to press it down really good. And then I'm going to take this magnet and I'm just going to let it attach to wherever. And I need to put a piece of um, score tape on there so that it'll attach to the belly band. Just like that. And then I'm going to flip the belly band down and make sure it's straight. Just like that. And press it. Okay, so now the magnet is attached to this top part of the belly band, just like that. So now I'm going to attach this black border strip. You know what I could do? I could use the other um, belly band to um, mat the other side of this. You know, I probably should do that. Okay, why does that have, let's do this right, shall we? So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to lay it this way. Okay, so I'm going to lay this black strip down here like this and try to get it even. And push it up a little bit. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to push this down really good. And I plan on doing like flowers or something right there. So it's not going to look so just weird, just cut off like that. Um, okay. There. So now we've got the magnet inside of there. And I think I will mat this. I think I will mat it. So all I'm going to do is... Let me trim this down to five inches. Get my paper trimmer back out and just trim it down. And then I'm going to ink my edges. This is archival jet black ink. That's what I've been using for this whole project. And so then it should fit just perfectly right there. And it does. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that down as well. Oh, you know what? Let me double check to make sure my magnet will stick. It should. I mean, I've never had any issues with a couple layers of cardstock. Not, you know, not been able to stick through a couple layers of cardstock before. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac glue by Beacon. I can't believe. I just... Got on a row yesterday and just was doing this without even thinking. It's just, golly. Okay. So I'm just going to attach that down. So now we've got it matted on both sides. So on the black one, I already matted the one with, um, this is the, the small cutoff piece, the one inch piece you have to cut off. So that's that. So I guess I need to mat the uh, other side as well. So I'm going to grab the other black belly band and do the same thing. So I'm going to do this off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now I need to mat I need to mat the pocket and I need to mat the belly band. So the pocket is this 
kind of a mixed media looking pink splatchy splatchy <laughs> that doesn't make any sense here I'll just get you the piece out it just kind of looks like that maybe it looks supposed to look like worn paint or I'm not really sure exactly what the look is oh I had noticed this before it has this like bokeh look all throughout the paper can you see it some of the little bokehs are little hearts that's cute hope it's picking that up how adorable is that I hadn't noticed that anyway alrighty so then I need to this is one of the you know smaller cut off pieces so I need to match it to that so I'm just gonna eyeball this one I meant okay I'm just gonna use this since I've already trimmed this one down I'm just gonna mark it And then just cut this off. So that should cut. The, that should go on this piece perfectly, just like that. And then for the pocket, there is a traceable template. Let me find the pocket page. So the pocket itself is on page nine. And it says the mat is on page 13. Now I handwrite those things on there. It doesn't come like that. So here is the mat for the short pocket. So all I'm going to do is figure out where I want this to be. I think I want it to be right here. And this is the same width as your large cutoff pieces. I tried to do that on purpose. Um, I tried most, uh, most of the time I did that completely on purpose. <laughs> Because I wanted you to be able to use your large cutoff pieces so they wouldn't be so wasted. Um, they're not wasted because I use mine all the time. I just have a lot of them. So you just want to lay it down and then trace it out. It's pretty simple. Just like that. And then I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors. I do tend to go on the inside of my pencil mark versus on the pencil mark or on the outside of the pencil mark grab the wrong scissors okay so then i'm just gonna trim this out so then it should be the perfect fit for that pocket and it is so now i'm gonna ink both of these pieces up and i'm gonna glue them down and then i will be back okay so now i've got that i've got the inside of that um what do we want to call this belly band strap I think closure flip flappity floop <laughs> we've got the inside of that matted and we got the pocket matted so um it looks pretty good I haven't decided what I'm going to put in the bottom there is a specific insert that goes inside this pocket but you don't always have to use the exact insert that's made for that pocket so um I've got that one all done so then the next thing I want to do is I think I'm going to put the two long pockets on the cover so i'm going to put one on each cover i think that's what i'm going to do i just have to decide which one i want to put where so i think i'm going to put this one here and then i think i'm going to put this one here yeah so all you have to do is once you've cut it out and scored it and folded it oh this isn't even inked i need to ink it you need to ink it once you scored it and folded it ink all the edges if you want to you don't have to I just like to take that little bit of extra step so then you want to add your score tape I'm just gonna do one on camera and then I'll do the other one off camera so if I can find my edge here there it is so you want to do all three edges, uh, all three edges, you want to do all three um, tabs there on the side, like that. And then you want to do the same thing, attach the long tab or flap or whatever you want to call it to the two short ones. Just like that. And then we're just going to stick this down. I didn't cut that one very well. Let me trim this um, edge off a little bit. I'm 
So I'm going to take the backing off of the score tape. Ugh. My nails are kind of blunt at the end, so it's hard for me to get up under things. Put a little bit of glue stick. Oops, I got a little too much glue stick right there. And that is not for, you know, to hold it down. It's just to give us some wiggle room. So this is the front cover. I'm just going to match up without going over that um, hinge part there, this middle part. Just going to match that up and press it down. It's just the exact same as your liner piece, which makes it really nice and easy. Okay, so I'm going to put that packet, that packet, <laughs> that pocket's on there, and then I'm going to put this one on here, and I'm going to add both of the black pockets on the front and back, I think, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I added the pockets to the front um, cover and to the back cover. If I would have thought about it, I could have put the pocket the other way because since this is a landscape, but, you know, these pockets open up at the end, so I thought, why not? Let's just leave it like that. So... Um, I did mat them. These were the mats that I saved from the last video. I wasn't sure how I was going to do, uh, which pockets I was going to use. Since I didn't use the short pocket going this way or that way, I didn't have to worry about the fact that it was not wide enough to cover the whole cover. Um, so I did go ahead and mat those. So now I need to um, mat the actual long pocket itself. So back to my workbook here. The long pocket is on page 8. Okay, so the mat for the long pocket is on page 13. And it's this one right here. Okay, so I need to mat it. it. Looks like I've used that paper, so let me see what I got. I think it's right here. So I'll use this to mat that pocket. And then the back pocket, so then the back pocket on the back cover is that one. So, since I'm matting this one and it's going to be facing this way, I need to make sure that when I trace this out, well, it doesn't really matter because this paper doesn't really have a direction, so I'm just going to stick it right here, like that. Oops, let me just scoot it down just a little more. People ask me what tape I use in my ATG gun all the time. So, um... Let me get it and show you. I haven't been using the ATG gun tape. Well, I had a package where I wrote the name of it on. I bought a whole box of it. This is ATG gun tape, not a, not actual Scotch ATG gun, but this is from the tapedepot.com. So um, I got a whole box of it, and, and it's not as strong as the Scotch brand ATG gun tape. But um, it works perfectly for the stuff that I do. Because I don't typically use my ATG gun to mat things. Sometimes I do every once in a while. But, but it's perfect. So that's the tape that I use when I make my workbooks. The tapes that I put on the back of my traceable templates. Okay, so there's the uh, front cover one. And then here, the back cover. We need to make sure that we trace it correctly. Because it's going to be this way. I guess we could have it like this. So I'm going to use that hole, I think. Oh, no, there's a whole lot of roses. Maybe I'll scoot it down this way. Okay, so I've got the long pockets matted. So then I've got one more um, short pocket. So what I think I'm going to do is, we've already used one of the short pockets. Remember, I printed off two. My thought was I'd use one in the pages and one on the cover. but And same with the long pockets, but then I changed my mind. So we've already used it as it's intended. So what I thought I would do, I thought I would use it as a flap, a flip, a flip flap, <laughs> a flip flap page. So I thought I would stick it on the page like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off two of the long flaps, the two long flaps, well, whichever flaps, well, yeah, the two long flaps, it has to be the two long flaps, no, it doesn't, it could be the long, oh my gosh, they're not long flaps, the two flaps on the side, you pick whichever two, if you wanted to use this side and have it flip out this way, then you cut off the other two, 
I mean, I, geez Louise, Jen, you're just, you're driving me nuts. <laughs> My brain is not working today. You guys are going to have to um, forgive me because I just, I'm just all over the place today. So I apologize. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick this, I'm going to move this out of the way. And I think I'm just going to stick it here as just like a, another flip. Or what would really be nice is if I would have stuck it in there as a flip. Can I still do that, I wonder? Should I dare? Should I dare try it? So we've got that. And then we would have this flipping over top of it like that. Oh, let's give it a whirl. Let's see if I can make it happen. First, I'm going to heat it up with my heat gun. This is crazy. All right, so I've, I don't need that much space, so. A little bit more. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna leave that stuck in there. So I'm gonna put score tape on either side of this. And hopefully this works. So this way, you know, that'd be cool if, you know, you have options. Once you have already stuck something down, you, you can change your mind. I don't think I inked this side. If I did, I don't remember. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take the, oh, this is so scary. <laughs> I'm going to take the backing off of both sides. And I'm going to get my glue stick, put a, whoops, put a little bit on each side. All right. I want it to go this way. And then I'm going to try to hold it open from the inside of the pocket. I'm going to slide that in, try to get in the middle. No guarantees there on that. And I'm going to press it down. Oh. <laughs> It worked. It worked. Yay. Okay, open it back up and really press it down. I cannot believe it worked. Make that little edge there. That is awesome. So when we got this, uh, the insert stuck in there. And hopefully, hopefully it'll still go in correctly. It will. I didn't even check that. I probably should have checked that. So then it'll go like that. Yes, I like it. Okay, so now with the black one, in order to do that, I think all we have to do is lift up the mat. And this is just Fabri-Tac under there, so I should be at this one should be easy. Yes. Yes, yes. All right, where's my other pocket? Oh, look at, I've already, um, well, that's okay. We're just going to have to unstick it and cut those off. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm just going to stick it down on the one side and then run some glue on the inside there. So just got score tape on one side. I'm so excited if this is working. All right, so this time I had to be a little bit more careful about where I'm putting it. Right there like that. Oh, did you see that glue stick? And then I'm gonna run some Fabri-Tac. Look, from where I pulled it apart, can you see? <laughs> under here I like it okay so I'm gonna get the mats prepared for this and I'll be right back okay so I've got the extra little the short pocket as a now flip page add it on to my landscape album, but I put it on the wrong page. I put it on the wrong page. 
That's okay. I mean, this is on the last page, the very back page, where is on this album, I put it on the first page or the second page, however you want to look at it. <laughs> um, so I kind of made an error there. So they're not going to be exactly the same, but that's okay. Um, I just wanted to point that out that I put it on the wrong spot and I didn't even trim it out very good. But again, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It still looks fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is on page, I think it's 10. Oh, no, nine. Yeah. On page nine, there is the, um, let me flip it the right way. There is the envelope the short pocket and then the short belly bands. So I've printed off two on pattern paper and two on black, which I've already put together the black ones. But I thought I would show you real quick um, how to put the envelope together. So I've already trimmed it out all the way around. Um, so now all I need to do is score the line. So Let's scoot it over. You need to score this middle one here. And then, oh, I know what I was wanting to point out to you, page nine. Okay, so I know it's hard to see, but that is not an error. Oh, whoops, things fell out. That is not an error. It is supposed to be that way. Um, I needed more room on the paper, so you're not gonna see the long line along this flap and this flap. So do not cut those parts off. You need those little bits to fold your envelope together. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Once you've cut it out, it'll look like this. Let me try the other one. Can you see that? It's just a tiny little flap, but you don't cut those off. Just because you don't see the black line um, there, you just leave it on. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so you want to score that line, then you want to flip it around and score this tiny um, little flap. It's not that big. It's maybe three-eighths of an inch. It's not um, half an inch, but maybe you can see it better that way. It's just a tiny little flap there. Then you want to flip it this way and score this one. And... Score down this one. So then you just want to prep everything. I haven't decided which way these envelopes are going to be put together yet. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and prep it just like I was doing it exactly the way I printed it out. So it could go this way. Or I think with this one, because it's so kind of like, I don't know, there's a lot going on. I think I'm going to go the other way. Let's see how that looks. So now I'm just going to go along those same lines. And I'm just going to turn them the opposite way and burnish them down. And so then the outside of the envelope could be these tiny little hearts. So I haven't decided exactly where it's going to go. Um, it could go in any of the pockets. It could go in the long pocket. It can go. Um, it can go in the side pockets. It could go in the short pocket. It'll fit in any pocket. So I haven't decided where they're going to go yet. So I have two of them. So I'm going to try to figure out where I want these to go. But for now, I'm going to leave them as is. But I do want to do um, the short belly band. Let's see. And I also want to use the the um, floral lace punch by Martha Stewart. And what I think I'm going to do, you see how I did it well, this way. You see how I made that one. Um, I think what I'm going to do is use the belly band back here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll flip it this way. I'll use it the back side of it. That's what I'll do because I don't like the the look of that. So. And I might even have it up higher. So then I'm going to use the punch and I'm going to punch the black lace and I'm going to trim it out like so. So the first thing I need to do, I've already obviously already done that. I need to go ahead and score these 
like that. And then I'm gonna quickly ink this one. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here, except first I need to cut these down to size. Yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball it and then cut the other one to size. So it looks like I can do one, two, three, four flowers. And it should be right on the money. Right on the money. Yeah. Where's my other piece? All right, here's my other piece. So I'm just going to match the flowers up and cut it. So all I'm going to do is for each one of these pieces, I'm just going to run a little bit of glue along the edge. Like that. And then I'm just going to lay this on here. I think this just jazzes it right on up, don't it? It just makes it look so fancy. So I think that's going to be super cute right there. So I'm going to let that glue dry for a minute, but now I'm going to add the score tape to those little um, tabs or flaps. I don't know what to call them. Tabs, flaps. Or I call them everything. You know, I never call them the same thing twice in a row, I don't think. <laughs> oh, well. That's where my brain's at right now. All right, so I'm going to remove the backing off of here. Whoa. may want to push that down first. And I will use a little bit of glue stick. I don't think this has a direction, so I think I'm going to stick it up closer towards the top. So yeah, that's cute. Okay, so I've already prepared the one for the black one, and I think I'm going to have to put it on this page, and for, it's going to be the exact opposite of each other is what it looks like. So I'll stick it on this page. I've already made... This is the uh, short belly band, and I already made the two strips out of the metallic paper. So I'm just going to flip this over. So I am going to, I think I'm going to put this one more towards over here. So when it's, when there's nothing inside of there, you can see that pretty bird cage. Just like that. Looks good. The mat for this short belly band is on page 14. Hopefully I got that right. Yes. So here's the mat. And then the small cutoff pieces can be used to mat it. I don't think that's the right piece. Let's see. See, it's nice to have them all in the same spot so you can just grab it and go. I think that might be it right there. I'm not 100% sure. Nope. Is that it? That looks closer to what I'm looking for. So I'm going to use that piece. And I'm just going to lay this on here and trace it out and cut it out. Just that simple. Anchor up and then just add it on there. Okay, so I think I have decided where I'm going to put the two envelopes from page nine, where I'm going to put them in the album. Uh, so I actually, while I've got this out, there are inserts for the envelopes, and they are on page 10, um, and here's how the page comes um, when you print it out. That's what it looks like, so you just, you can cut them apart if you wish, but they're meant to be cut like this and then scored and folded, okay? So, I've got two sets of those because I had printed off two sets of 
envelopes. So this one I haven't scored yet. But um, I think I've decided that I'm gonna put an envelope in the front here. And it might be this one. I'm gonna put an envelope here and then I think I'm gonna put an envelope in this belly band. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, like so. I think that's what I've decided. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these two envelopes together. Um, I've already inked them, but the score tape goes on these two tabs here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna attach the bottom of the envelope to the side of the envelope and then I'm gonna take the backing off. And then just flip it over. You don't even have to put a glue stick on there because if you've already scored everything, everything should close just nicely. And I'm going to close this one up real quick, just like that. And this one I turned inside out, or I did it the, I folded it the other way, so I printed it on this side, um, and then just folded it the other way so that it would, um, I would have this pattern. So then the inserts, where's the other set? What, well, look, since this is the same as that, I am going to stick this insert in this envelope over here, maybe. Okay, so I scored, or I scored, I inked everything up, and I went ahead and put this insert inside this envelope here, and these are supposed to go into the short pockets, but I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put them yet, so I'm going to sit these two aside with my loose tags that I have. Um, I'm going to sit them over here to the side, and then, what do we got there? Uh, and then, I'm going to get the two black envelopes out, and I'm gonna show you how to mat one of them. So, the envelope that's on page nine, the mats for this envelope is on page 12. So there's three mats. And then I'm gonna get my large cutoff pieces out. Okay, so let's just go ahead and lay these down and trace them out. There's the back of the envelope. And then here's the front of the envelope. Like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Okay, so I've got these two pieces cut out. So now I need the, um, the flap piece inside and out, and maybe even the inside here. So I've picked out another piece for the outside of the flap and I think I'm gonna use this for the inside of the envelope. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace, what's on the back side here? I'm gonna trace this side or this part, the top part of the envelope flap. Oh. I need to sharpen my pencil. So that's gonna be on the outside, and then on the inside, this is gonna be, so I'm gonna flip it over. How do I wanna do this? I think I wanna do it like this. Oh, it should. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do for this piece because I want to cover the inside here too. I know it's hard to see because it's black. So I'm just going to go straight up from here, just like that, and then I'm going to separate them. And then this way, I've got a piece that I can tuck down inside there. So I'm going to trim these two pieces out, ink every, everything up, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got all my pieces inked, so I'm just going to start gluing everything down. So I'm going to start with the inside. And I'm gonna glue this piece down. I 
Ooh, that did not trim well once again. <laughs> I think it's just, I'm just having a terrible couple days. Everything's just, just, you know, I just feel so out of sorts. Okay, so this piece, I didn't even ink the bottom because I'm just going to slide it down in there like that. And then you can barely see it, but it adds a little bit of something, something, you know? Okay, so I'm going to add this piece now. So there's that piece. And I'm going to flip it this way so I don't mess that up. And I'm going to add the lid, the flap, the whatever call it, whatever you call it on an envelope, the flap. It's got to be the flap of the envelope. I'm going to glue that down. And then the last piece goes on the back. Make sure I've got it going the right way because it's upside down right now. So when everything's closed up, it's the right way. So that looks good. So I'm gonna also do the other black envelope wherever I stuck it. I will mat it in the exact same way, probably just different paper. Um, where's my insert? Is that it? No. Is this it? All right, here is the envelope insert. What is inside this envelope? Not that it has to match exactly. I was just trying to get it to match. The little heart paper. All right, let me find the heart paper. Matt for envelope insert is on page 11. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start on the heart side here. And I'm just gonna lay this down, and trace it out. Like, let me cut this one out first, and then I will trace the other one out. Let's just cut that part off. So I could use, like, right in the middle here. That's cute. I'm going to do that. Because I like that little saying. It says, you are my favorite daydream. I think that's cute. So I'm going to cut these out, ink them up, and be right back. All right, there's those two pieces, and I'm just going to go ahead and add them. I think I'm just going to do the outside of the insert and not the inside. That way you could put photos or you could put um, writing on there. You know, you can also use these traceable templates, these mats. You could place this right down onto your photo um, exactly where you want it, and... Um, match your inserts with the actual photos themselves. So I'm going to flip this over and put this down on the back side. And I've done that before. I've done that many times where I just use the actual mat for that template um, and place it right on the photo. It just makes it quick and easy and you know what's going to fit. So there's the insert. So here's the inside. It flips open like this. If you use a white pen, you could write on the inside of there. So that just goes right in there like that. So cute. And then this one is going in the, the uh, cover pocket right there. So there's that one. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare the other one. Okay, so I got the other envelope um, all matted inside and out and the insert as well. Got it matted um, and it slips behind here. This uh, envelope is thick, so you might have to finagle it a little bit. So what I have left is I've got the two short pocket inserts, and then I also have the two long pocket inserts. So these are also printed off in black as well. Um, but what I thought I would do, just real quick, I'm not going to do any decorating on these. I figured I would wait until we do the embellishment part, but I think I'm going to put one of the long pocket inserts um, in the long pocket in the back there. So I think that'll go there. And then I think I will put one of the short pocket inserts in the short pocket up front with the, the flap. 
the uh, what, what, what are we calling that? Somebody tell me what we should call that. Give me an idea. Um, so then that leaves us two more. So what I think I'll do is hold off on those until we start embellishing. So I'm not going to show you how to mat the black ones. Okay, so we're going to stop for this video, and for the next video, we'll do some embellishing, whether it be the covers or the pages or whatever. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of the printable so far. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit that button right there and check out these other videos here on the screen, and I will see you next time. Bye.